Hi, Oscar. This is Jeff with Zucker Marketing. We're based out of San Antonio, Texas, and Eric forwarded your website over for an analysis. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get more customers online. We're also going to run through a couple of things that you can implement right now. And aside from reviewing your website, we're also going to look at one of your top competitors' website and show you how they're currently beating you online. We'll be discussing the things that you can actually do differently to, of course, counteract that. <clears throat> so first, we'll start off with your website. Well, you actually have a pretty good looking website. You have your logo at the top. You have your call to action. You also have good photos and video. Nice content. Good amount of uh, words on your homepage as well. So there's just a few things we're going to get over with first to make sure we get you on top of the search list. Well, one thing I can tell you right off the bat is that Google loves content. Google actually would like to see a minimum of 1,500 words on a homepage. And in addition to this, the more content you'll have, the more you look like an expert in Google's eyes. So, of course, if you want to beat out the competition, you'd want to have 1,500 words or more. So, let's go ahead and do a quick count just first to see how many words you have on your homepage. Well, for some reason, I think think the option for me to select the words on your website is disabled um, but what's important is you need to have 1500 words or more on your web uh, on your homepage that way Google will actually consider your website a trustworthy website another thing we like to talk about are keywords Google is also looking for keywords it's looking for what the site should be found for so if you have the exact words listed multiple times on your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And of course, Google is going to be willing to put you higher in the results. So we did a quick search of the flooring services in one of the areas you're servicing. We'll talk more about the results that we have here. So let's go ahead and start off with the first one. So this is what we call the map pack. And of course, this is something where you really would like to be on since these are the ones that gets a lot of attention a lot of traffic, and they're easier to find. One way for you to actually be here is you'll need to have Google My Business profile where you'll enter as much information as possible, like the company name, phone number, email, company address, hours of operation, photos, and so on and so forth. And also, if you add those same information into as many directories as possible, like on Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie.com, that'll really help you a lot to appear in the map pack faster. Moving on to the next part, these are what we call the organic searches. So these are all the websites that actually ranks higher without people paying for any ads just because they're doing some certain things. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about. So I pulled up one of the top ranking website. Let's see what they have differently. So for their website, they also have their logo at the top, their company's information, call to action. They have good photos and good amount of contents as well. Let's see how many words they have on their homepage. So for their website, they currently have 1,001 words. Still quite behind with the goal, but more words, the better. So let's also take a look at the numbers um, itself. So we have here Ahrefs, one of the paid tools that we're using for us to have some more information on the back end of your website. We'll be talking more about the numbers. So let's start off with DR. So this is the level of trust that Google has in your website and you are is the strength of your website. Backlinks on the other hand, this are other website that refers to your website. So they're like shoutouts from different directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and the like. Let's go ahead and take a look at your competitors' numbers. So they actually have more with DR and UR, which means they actually have a much more trustworthy website and also a stronger website. And that's because they have more backlinks, they have more keywords, which gave them more traffic. One important thing that I need to talk about um, with backlinks and referring domains is that this actually needs to be a 2 to 1 ratio. So this 39 referring domains that they have, these are what we call the good or strong backlinks. And the rest of the missing backlinks, those are what we consider the spammy backlinks. So what you can actually do dif do differently on your end is you just need to add more backlinks, also more keywords. While you're increasing the number of your backlinks, you just need to make sure that you increase the number of the strong backlinks as well. That way you'll have a much better ratio. And of course, as a result, 
it will give you more traffic out of it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the strong backlinks and <clears throat> keywords that they currently have. And let's discuss the importance of this too, especially making your website stronger and better. Starting off with the good or strong backlinks. So these are all the directories they're currently listed on that actually brings them a lot of attention and a lot of traffic. That's why they're also ranking higher in the searches. <clears throat> Next are the organic keywords. These are all the keywords they have listed on their website. So when customers search for these specific words, their website will show on top of the list. And if you also look at the numbers under volume, these are the total number of people that searches for these specific keywords on Google every month. So that's how important in choosing the right keyword is. That way, more customers will be able to find your website faster and easier. Another thing we'd like to share about keywords is that um, for every photo that you have listed on your website, you can actually rename them with a hidden keyword instead. That way, you'll be able to have more hidden keywords added into your website. And not only that, of course, for those keywords to not to be repetitive on your website as well. So just to wrap things up, the most important things that we can do to improve your ranking is first the amount of content when we're going to add more words into your homepage. That way, Google will actually consider your website a much more trustworthy website. Next would be the backlinks when we're going to add your information to more directories as possible. That way, we can actually bring you more traffic and, of course, the higher chances of your website in appearing in most of the map pack searches. Last but not the least will be the keywords where we're going to help you out in adding more keywords and of course choosing the right ones. That way more customers will be able to find your website faster and easier. So these are all the things that you can actually implement right now. And of course we can also help you out in making these changes and more with the goal of getting you many new customers. Eric will also be following up with you just to get some feedback about the ideas I discussed on this video. So I really do appreciate your time. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.